Hey folks, Eddie from Brainpulp TV, back with more Magic Online. Now, originally, a couple things before we start. Originally, this was supposed to be the sealed league I did for the Kaladesh Online pre-release. However, because of a screw-up <laughs> with one of the videos that I did, well, the, the deck building and uh, card pool video, that will never see the light of day. So, sadly, that was a bit of a wasted effort on my part. However, we are going to be doing something today, and it is going to be one of the regular... Uh, draft leagues, the 6222 Kaladesh Draft League on Magic Online. The other thing is, like the previous week, I am going to be doing the matches and games the same way I did as a test from the, from the previous week, in that I will be doing commentary over replays of those games. The actual draft you guys are going to see right now, and it's going to be done live, and I'm going to be doing the commentary as I draft the stuff, but uh, the matches are going to be done the same way I did before, as opposed to me recording each of the matches and doing commentary while I'm playing. Now, certain aspects of doing it that way did work out the way I had hoped. However, one of the things that I was a little surprised at is that it didn't really condense the time of the matches down as, as low as, as I wanted to. So I was hoping to get all three matches and have it run in about 50 minutes to an hour, somewhere around there, and end up being about an hour and a half. Now, whether that was just because I was talking too much, I don't know. Uh, maybe I was going too slow. I'm not entirely sure. However, I still think there's enough advantages, for me anyways, to keep doing it the way where I, I do commentary over the replays. If you guys have an opinion one way or the other, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. But for the time being, that's how I think we're going to be doing games and matches when it comes to leagues anyways. Also, as a side note, I am going to be hopefully getting a video out sometime in the next week or two. We are coming close to the 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 first full year of doing Brain Pulp TV in the channel. So I was going to be releasing a video which should hopefully kick off a new series sometime in the next couple weeks. And I'll be giving information as to what's going to go on with the channel and all that. But one thing just I, I wanted to mention now is that I may be doing Magic Online videos possibly once every two weeks as opposed to once a week because I would like to play a different game every second week for these types of videos. I may still be, if I have time, I would love to still be able to do weekly Magic Online gameplay videos uh, or, or drafts, I should say. However, I may want to pull back on that and do it once every two weeks and do a video like a game that's, that's come out that I really want to play is The Bunker. Uh, I'm, I also really want to play the new Civilization that's going to be coming out this month. So those are the types of things I may be doing every second week. And then Magic Online will be every second week that I'm not playing those types of games. However, if I can, I will definitely try to maintain this weekly. Okay, now that I got all that out of the way, let's join this draft and see just how badly uh, we do here, and if I can resist drafting cards, which I know are going to be bad, but just look super fun. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, see Healy's Artistry. It's expensive. It could be good. The Ballista Charger. Whenever it attacks, it deals one damage to target creature or player. Crew three. I think that's good. Two, Gear Shift Ace. Could be good as well, too. I really like Snare Thopter. I think Snare Thopter is very solid. Sky Skiff is really good. Um, it's one of my favorite commons, actually. Built to Last. Dramatic Reversal. The uh, Fire Forge's Puzzle Knot. To it is Find. Mind Rot. Workshop Assistant even has its uses. Salivating go uh, Gre I was going to call them Goblins. Gremlins did work for me in a previous draft. However, I mean, that's good. I'm really... I'm thinking either the gear shift ace or the ballista charger. I mean, snare th or maybe even snare thopter might be the best choice here. I'm going to go. You know, what? I'm going to go with the ballista charger. I don't know if that's right, but I'm going to go with it. I'm probably going to go with the aerial responder, which I think is crazy good. Uh, what else do we have here? Because we're not really setting any color because we did take a uh, vehicle as our first pick. Decoction module. Um, spark of creativity. Aether Theorist, if we want to go blue. Uh, same thing with the Peafowl, which I think would be good. Glint Sleeve Artisan, I think is very strong as well too. Night Market Lookout is a card that uh, got to play in the Sealed League that you guys did not get to see. And Night, <laughs> Night Market Lookout did amazing work. I, I was able to play this, um, I believe it was a black-green 
deck which relied on vehicles and this card just it got to the point where my opponents were were desperately trying to remove this card almost more than anything else in the board because it was doing so much work for us subtle strike i think is also good i do think i'm going to go here with the aerial responder that will put us into white almost definitely um because it is double white but i think flying vigilance lifelink two three for three i think it's really really good so we're going to go with that uh i like uh deadlock trap as a um concept for a card i think it's quite cool um i don't know how useful it would be in the draft spire charge if we're looking for white uh propeller pioneer might be a good pick volcanic brawler which would put us into two colors which are not white nimble innovator it's not horrible horrible that'd be a good sideboard card pressure point um yeah, I don't like consulate surveillance. I'm thinking accomplished automation or propeller pioneer, but I'm I'm leaning towards propeller pioneer here. Because I would like to go into white now, especially because the area responder is double white. So yeah, let's gonna go with the pioneer here. Uh the express, if we want to go for more of a vehicle strategy, fragmatize inventor's goggles where I made a bad choice. I mean, I don't think inventor Gog inventor's goggles is a bad choice. Uh, card but in the last draft I picked it over something which uh, was probably better <laughs> which was almost definitely better uh, when it's the battlefield look at the top four cards your library you reveal an artifact card from among them put it into your hand and put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order we could go we could go white blue we got thriving turtle I did see some some good blue that went by um the express is good too the the crew cost of four is the only sort of downside if the but do I want that a thriving turtle or the inventor's goggles? Cause neither of these, well, one of them's an artificer. You know, what? I think I'm going to go with the glint nest, nest crane and see if we're going to go maybe a uh, blue white here. Thriving Ibex. I, I like, um, the weld fast wings mate or wings Smith, not mate. Um, would be good. Ninth bridge patrol, I think is okay. I don't think it's super, super good. Um, Foundry Screecher, I think, can be good, especially in the right deck. I I mean, we could go black. I don't want to take this because it's it's black-green, and I don't want to go that direction at this point. Might go Thriving, thriving Ibex. Thriving Ibex. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with the Thriving Ibex. We have the Trusty Companion, which I don't think is bad. Lawless Broker, I think, is good. It would put us in black, and I don't necessarily want to be there. Um, Eager Construct, which would come around. Aviator Mechanic. Do we have stuff that would be good for, like, flicker effects at this point? I mean, we have, like, Fabricate. If we go with Fabricate and even something like the Glint Nest Crane, Aviator Mechanic might be good. I have a feeling we'll get another chance, another aviator mechanic. I like the trusty companion. It's 3-2 two for 2, even though it can't attack alone, but it does have vigilance. Herald of the Fair would be the other choice. Untap all non-land permanents. That, that would be kind of a cool trick, but you know what? I think here, I think here I'm going to go with the trusty companion. Maybe I'll get, I'll get another chance in aviator mechanic. Werther Maker uh, kicked my ass in one of my games that I was playing against my opponent, so I may just take this. It could definitely be useful. This is counter target spell, draw a card, then discard a card. Uh, Glass blower's puzzle knot, especially if we're wanting energy, could be good. There's another thriving turtle. Lot for blue. So blue really seems open, which which makes it good for us to having as a secondary color. Turn target permanent you control and target permanent you don't control to their owner's hands. You know what? Uh, Aether trade wins or whirler maker. I'm gonna go with the whirler maker and see how how that works out for us. Um, Revolutionary rebuff, counter target spell unless it's controller pay counter target non artifact spell unless it's controller pays two. That's important. Select for inspection, turn target tap creature to its owner's hand, scry one. Uh, that's not bad. I think the hawk here might be the way to go. The accomplished automation, I think, is also good. Another one of the glass blowers puzzle knots, but I think the hawk, we can definitely go with sort of like a flying strategy. 
which may be difficult to shut down. So yeah, let's go with the Hawk. Built to Last, I quite like. I do think this is a very sneaky card. Man, it's the type of card that makes me want to play it. Um, but I don't think it's as strong as like Built to Last can be... Workshop Assistant. So we got Workshop Assistant. Dramatic Reversal, which could be good. Um, and then Built to Last. You know what? I'm going to go with the Built to Last here. I'm going to go with the Built to Last. I don't know if that was the best choice. Probably wasn't. This is a 2-3 with Prowess for 3. And this is a 2-1 for 2. I would go with this one. I like Night Market Lookout. We're not in black. We're not really in... Well, we're not super in blue yet. Right? We're hardly in blue. We could go. But I think there was more blue open, so I think I can go with the Blade Master here. Uh, surveillance, Inspired Charge, or Pressure Point. Tap target creature, draw a card. Um, I mean, I could see this being useful late game. You know what? I'm going to go Inspired Charge here. Okay, we get the Inventor's Goggles anyways. So we'll grab that. Get the Ninth Bridge Patrol. And get Herald of the Fair. So, I mean, I wouldn't say white's open because of that, but we've got a lot of white cards, so I'm not... Kicking myself for starting off with, um, starting off, it was the second pack that I was able to get the aerial responder. So, because it's hard to splash for a color when it's double. Okay. Um, exalt target creature you control, then return it, turn that card to the battlefield under its owner's control, draw a card. There's some good black in here. What's the, what's this? Return any number of target non landed, non token permits you control their owner's hands. Draw a card for each card returned to your hand this way. <laughs> Once again, the type of card that I am a sucker for, which may not be great, a or Aetherborn, I, I always called it Aether, but it's, it's apparently it's Aetherborn Marauder. Flying Lifelink, I think this is really good. Like if, we're what, two? Two not horrible cards, but not super, super great cards into blue. Um, Man, this would make me want to splash red with this deck. I, but I, part of me wants to take the, the paradoxical doxi, paradoxical outcome because I think it could be good later in the game. But, man, I wish if we were in black, I would take Aetherborn Marauder almost instantly. Underhanded Design is also good. You know, I'm going to go with the outcome. That's probably a very bad choice, but I'm going to go with the outcome. I'm most likely going to take Revoked Privileges here. Rep little, little, little. Worst time talking ever. I'm most likely going to take Revoked Privileges here. We have Glimmer of Genius, which is scry two, then draw two cards and get two energy. That's not horrible either. I, whew, um, man, that really. There's also a uh, Ether Theorist. Ether Theorist. Tongue is so tied up today. This is. Um, but I don't know. I still think Revoke Privileges is. is the better card. No one was really picking blue. I don't know if these will both go around. Glimmer of Genius seems good. But I think I'm going to revoke, revoke some privileges. The Pummeler. There is a combo that you can do with the Pummeler. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. To, to create an infinite energy and then like swing in with the Pummeler. Um, refurbish. We don't have a ton of artifacts, actually. I was expecting to have more artifacts at this point, and we don't have a ton, which means Built to Last, which I have in the deck, may leave the deck before the, this is over. If I were to switch into red, Salivating Gremlins, I think is good, but, I mean, we don't have a ton of artifacts, right? The Eager Construct. Uh, I mean... I don't think we have what we need to, to pump this thing up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we have what we need for the pummeler. I may just take the refurbish here, which isn't super strong. Yeah, we'll take refurbish. The hawk, sky skiff, looks good. Another thri thriving ibex would be good. Um, the ambition, draw three cards. If you control no artifacts, discard a card. I'm thinking sky skiff here. 
the hawk is still good um not really seeing much in the way of good blue now i wouldn't even mind another ibex i wouldn't mind another hawk but i think i think i'm gonna take the skiff here yeah let's take the skiff whether or not that was the best choice or not i don't know the long finned sky whale can block only creatures with flying i'm not really too concerned about this is a card that i wish i had picked in my previous draft because i thought it would be it was uh if you haven't watched the previous video i did a white red deck that ended up being not bad despite some mistakes in the picks and reckless fire weaver i think would have done really well because it, it had a lot that uh could create um artifacts or a lot of artifacts were coming into play so this would have been really good in that deck but for this deck what do we want do we want the hermit I mean, the Hermit's an energy-making machine, right? But this would go better with our flying strategy. Let's go with the long fin Sky Whale. Uh, Ether Meltdown, Flash, Enchant Creature or Vehicle. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy. Enchanted Permanent gets minus four, minus zero. That's not bad. Cogworkers Puzzle Knot did a lot of work for us in the previous draft. I may actually want to take that. Um, I mean, this was this was not bad either. But the Puzzle Knot, I mean, is the Puzzle Knot better for us here? Thriving Turtle, again. You know, we're getting a lot of energy. Thriving Turtle may not be bad. I don't know if I'd pick it over the Puzzle Knot or Aether Meltdown. You know, I'm going to take Aether Meltdown because it's pseudo removal and we're kind of light in that. We get rewarded by getting another Puzzle Knot if we want it. Uh, we also have another Revolutionary Rebuff. Um, or the failed inspection. I think I can go with the puzzle knot here. We've got a lot of two drops. Yeah, let's go with the puzzle knot here. The orrery. Each player may play an additional land on each of his returns at the beginning of each player's upkeep. If that player has no cards in hand, that player draws three cards. Um, I don't think so. The demolition stomper. Can't be blocked by creature with two or less power. It's got crew five. I don't mind this. <laughs> I don't know if it's the greatest, but it's better than some of the other stuff that we have here, which is not much for, for us. So yeah, I'm going to take the stomper. Sure. Uh, acrobatic maneuver uh, or the derpy camel. Um, the vendor. But I think the maneuver here would be the best of what's left. This is the second draft I've done now where I, I feel like I should have gone into black. Um, I just know that when I do a draft, if I try to like go in with the mentality of, no, you should definitely go for black this time. I, I'm going to be forcing black when it's not open, but it seems to be kind of open in these last two drafts that I've done. Take select for inspection. I don't mind taking another blade master. We don't need three drops. We don't need two drops. Eager construct is, it's a two, two for two. Each player may scry. I mean, that's not horrible. We both get to do it. I think I'm going to take the Blade Master. I will take the Ibex. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll just take this Puzzle Knot. I'll take Mind Rot, because who likes to discard cards? And I'll take the Swamp. So right now we've got 26 cards. We can. I mean, there's definitely some things that I can see that we can cut almost instantly from this deck. Um, oddly enough, Refurbish might be one of the ones. Until unless we get some a bigger artifact. <laughs> well, shit. Maybe we'll heavily splash red. I can't not. I can't not take the Chandra. On the plus side, there's no blue for us, and then our white is the Skyworld Herit, which isn't bad, and the Mastodon. So it's not like we're passing up super crazy good picks in our color. We don't really have great picks in our color. So taking the Chandra, which is worth, I'm thinking, a significant number of tickets, will help fund these drafts for future generations. Not for future generations, but for future videos. Future generations of videos. <sighs> Yeah, so we're going to take Chandra.
I'll double check and see if that was good as far as like, you know, the ticket standpoint go. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, the, the, the innovator. Um, another build to last, which we don't want. You know what? Maybe if we're going to play Chandra, maybe we should grab some red. Okay, what's the quick smith genius? Whenever an artifact is in control, you may discard a card. If you do draw a card, that could be pretty good. You know what? I'm going to take the... Yeah, let's... No, we're going to take select for... No, we already got... Yeah, we're going to take the Territorial Gorger because maybe maybe we're going to splash for red now that we got Chandra. Uh, what is Aether Hub again? This would be good fixing for us. Though we do have the Sky Swirl Harrier, which is the better pick, and it goes with our flying strategy. So it's, let's not get too crazy with, with deciding to splash for red just because we got Chandra. Uh, impeccable Timing, which is not bad. The Express, which is not bad. Inventor's Apprentice is not bad, but if we're going to splash red, I, the chances are we're not going to get red on the first turn. So I think here we definitely go with the Sky Swirl Harrier. Yeah, let's grab the Sky, Sky Swirl Harrier. Veteran Motorist, we may consider taking now if we are splashing red because we seem to have absolute junk for white. Uh, also makes me want to grab the Reckless Fire Weaver. You know what? Let's splash for a bit of red and let's grab the Veteran Motorist. Right? I mean, there's the Reckless Fire Weaver. We could play around with that, but I think here... Yeah, I'm going to grab that for the sideboard. Um, the Aviator Mechanic is actually something that I'm not... And there's the benefit of me return another permanent you control to its owner's hand. So, I mean, I may grab the Aviator Mechanic. Um, spontaneous Artist. And there's the benefit you get one energy... Pay your target against haste until the end of turn. Failed inspection. For blue isn't bad. Uh, we're going to go with the aviator mechanic here. Visionary Augmenter looks good for us. There you go. We could just go full goat. And uh, go for another thriving Ibex. But I think here I want to go with the Visionary Augmenter. Or the Hide Tide Hermit, but no, we're gonna go with the Visionary, visionary Augmenter. Um, the Infiltrator. Well, how are we for vehicles? We got one, two, I think just three, right? Yeah, Sky Skiff, Ballista Charger, and then Demolition Stomper. Though we don't really have much else for. You know what? I may just take the Accomplished Automation here. Sides by your Infiltrator, yeah. Because if we do play red, it is really almost definitely just going to be to uh, splash for maybe the Veteran Motorist, but definitely for Chandra. So I, instead, I'm going to go with the Accomplished Automation here. Another Veteran Motorist. I'm probably going to take the Hermit instead of the other Motorist. Man, if two Motorists, if we, maybe we can... Maybe blue can be our splash and red can be because we're got heavy white. Because otherwise my pick would be the the high tide hermit. I'm going to grab the other veteran motorist. Here I grab the, uh, the other. We already got one, but I'm going to grab the other harrier. Uh, the camel or the giant spectacle. Appetite for the unnatural or another built to last. I mean, nothing here is good for us. I could take the green removal just to get out of there. I don't think that's super important to us because we're not like a major artifact heavy deck. Uh, so why don't we just take the giant spectacle in case we want, really want to go red now. I'm going to take the express here. Already have an inspired charge, but uh, you know, no, I will take the thing with reach to prevent someone else from being able to sort of sideboard that in. Uh, larger than life, neither of these are super great for us. I should just take the island, I'll take larger than life, I'll take the tutor. <laughs> we get another inspired charge, which I'll put it there because we've already got one in the current deck, which needs to be cut by nine cards. 
Okay, just a quick note before we get to the deck building. I checked Chandra Torch of Defiance currently, as as the time of this draft, is going for about 11 tickets, just a little bit over 11 tickets. So really, it's like refunding me for the draft instantly. So I don't regret, regret picking it, especially because there wasn't really anything super great in white or blue when I picked it. Now it's time to decide whether we want to try to actually play it or just sort of set it aside and say, okay, this was to refund us for the draft and now we can move on. So I'm going to take a quick look at the cards and then let's start to try to whittle down this deck and see if we can't build something that would be worth playing. Okay, let's let's quickly take out, let's take out the blue that we got going on here. Okay, so we've got the blue here. Set it aside for now. Put in the red. That we have. <laughs> We're heavy on two drops. Um, and then the gorger is four. So, and let's just quickly, I want to combine these groups just to see what our curve looks like. I mean, we're low on three drops. Sort by converted mana cost. Okay, we still need to cut three from this. So let's uh, group creatures separately again. God, this is going to be weird if I suddenly decide to switch into red now because of Chandra. I also, this is a weird thing as well, too. I also want to sort of try to mix it up from video to video. And I just played a red white deck, though, granted, it was a it was a different style of red white deck. But I kind of wanted to play something different. Uh, and I find I play white a lot. I think naturally I just go to that color because white and blue are the colors I tend to play in constructed. So I was kind of happy to actually have a a um, draft deck in white and blue. I mean, we still have to cut three cards from this. and the cards we have are, are not bad. And whenever you get one or more energy, and what do we have for energy here? I mean, we got the Hawk that gives us energy. Uh, the, the Ibex benefit from energy and create energy. Don't really have anything else. that's really that heavy, heavy on energy. So we could actually take this out. So we could take the Gorger out. I don't know. For, part of me is leaning towards taking out the Whirler Maker. Uh, or the Puzzle Knot. That would still only put us down to 24. We want to be down to 23. I mean, Inspired Charge looks like it could be a good finisher card. Especially if there's like a deadlock. Um, may benefit from taking out one of the vehicles. Because we have 15 creatures, but technically we got 16, 17, 18, 19 if we counted vehicles as creatures. Maybe take out Herald of the Fair. I mean, this will work well with some of our flicker effects, but we've actually taken out a couple of cards that cause the flicker, flicker effect. If you're a mechanic, it's creature, right? Enters the battlefield, you may return another permanent you control. So, I mean, we could actually um, flicker the puzzle knot, so I want to probably keep that in. Venter's Goggles might be better to have built to last. And Trusty Companion, we don't have much. Can't attack alone. 3-2. You know what? I'm going to take out the Trusty Companion. <laughs> Apparently put it right back in. I meant to just keep it out. So that puts us down to 24. Mm, I'm still not. I'm still on the fence whether I should be going into this, in, going now into white-red. I mean, we don't have much in the way of 3-drops, so I don't really want to get rid of Herald of the Fair, but we do have plenty of 2s. I mean, like, even Skyskip and Cogworker's Puzzle Knot are still good 2s. For creatures, as far as creatures go, maybe Whirler Maker is the one to take out. You know, I'm going to take out Herald of the Fair. Let's combine groups. Sort by converted mana cost. We are really low on threes. Like, our curve just dips here. But I think overall, I mean, we got tons of twos and some decent twos. Maybe Ninth Bridge Patrol is better to take out. Because one of the things about Ninth Ridge Patrol is it's whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Ninth Bridge Patrol. I mean, we may even be, it may even be a good idea to splash some of this blue back into the deck. Because I gotta tell you, I really wanted to play Paradoxal Outcome. Because it seems like it could be a fun card to sort of toss in. Part of me really wants to toss it in and just splash blue, but I think, <laughs> I think, well, I think this may be the deck that we go with here. 
yeah, I think I think this may be the deck that we go with. Okay, let's let's add lands. Okay, so I think okay, we're splashing for red, but that's ridiculous. So let's go. Uh, because we need double white for a lot of stuff, but let's go seven ten just because I do want to be able to get Chandra out as well, too. And I think that's okay. We don't need double white until turn three. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do ten planes and seven mountains. Okay, so now after a last minute change during the draft, shifting focus away from being white blue to white red. This is the deck we've come up with so far which may change by the time I'm done recapping the deck. We have seven mountains <laughs> and 10 planes. We have inventor's goggles. Now I'm still very, very curious as to whether or not built to last would be better instead of inventor's goggles. Maybe built to last would be better than one of the other cards. For now, I'm going to keep inventor's goggles in with it being a draft league. I can change the deck up after my first match. If I want, I don't have to wait just to sideboard something in. So that's one of the reasons why for now, I think inventor's goggles will stay. We have Aviator Mechanic, Eddie Trail Hawk, uh, no relation, by the way, Ninth Bridge Patrol, two veteran motorists, Cogworkers Puzzle Knot, Sky Skiff, Revoke Privileges, Aerial Responder, Whirler Maker, Propeller Pioneer, two Thriving Ibex, Inspired Charge, Visionary Augmenter, Chandra Torch of Defiance, which was the big reason to switch into red. It's also going to pay us back for the entire league because I think I can sell her at this point for the same amount of tickets it would cost to get into another league. Anyways, uh, Sky Swirl Harrier, we have two of those. The a a Aradara Express, don't know why that was so difficult to say this time, Ballista Charger, Demolition Stomper, and Accomplished Automation. We may be a little heavy on the, on the big drops. I may want to drop a five and bring another low drop. But you know what? For now... Let's just keep this as is and see how it works out. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The following video will have all the matches, all the games done in the whole replay commentary or replay style, which I did last time. So hopefully that works out as well in the creation as it did the first uh, time I tried it. Now I know with draft videos, it's one of those videos that, that bring out a, a fair number of comments from people. I mean, for our channel being so relatively small, a fair number of comments is usually only a couple comments, but still more comments than gameplay videos do a lot of the time. So if you have any advice or any sort of uh, commentary you'd like to give me as far as my picks, let me hear it because I, I don't take offense to, I don't take, I don't take your comments personally if you disagree with my pick, unless you try to make it personal. I don't know why you would do that. So if you think it was a huge mistake to suddenly veer away from blue, though I really was still picking blue, it just in the end, in the deck building, I, I sort of swerved to red. But if you think it was a mistake to sort of take the blue out of my deck and go with red, please, I mean, don't shy away from letting me know. I, I One of the things I know people have sort of gone after other people for in the past is picking a card for its value. With Magic online drafts like this for for what we do as far as presenting it. I don't see the harm in taking one card that will mean I can do an entire other draft essentially for free. So picking the Chandra, I think was just the smart thing to do for this one. Uh, whether or not switching over to red because we have her is a smart thing to do. That's up for you guys to decide. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind how the deck looks right now. We didn't have any, anything crazy, huge, wonderful in blue. Maybe it would have been a stronger deck in blue, but eh, we'll find out. Anyways, no more rambling. If you would like to say good luck or anything like that, please leave that in the comments section below or any other comments. That'd be wonderful. If you'd like to contact or follow us on Twitter, you can at, at BrainPulpTV, or you can follow and contact me directly on Twitter at Geek Tragedy. And now that all that is said, take care, everyone. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to us here, and I'll see you all very soon.